Fred's Crisis. <laughs> they may be big, but big only goes so far. I'll show them what real strength looks like. Just a little warmer up her. Now, watch this. Oh, you okay, dude? Oh, we're coming, bro. Double stuffs are too heavy, man. Yo, Doc, we've got squished bread here. I'm up. Oh, I wonder why Mr. Bread is so late. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Mr. Bread, what happened to you? I broke my arms with my own brute strength. I'm just so relieved that you're okay. Sorry to keep it real, but who's gonna style the hair? The hair? Well, Wilk, you'll do it. M me? Don't worry, I'll kindly guide you with a firm hand. Uh, I don't know. How are you gonna hmm? feed yourself? Well, I was planning that maybe you could help me out. What? Or I suppose I could simply starve to death. Uh, oh. huh? Excuse me, I'd like a hairdo. Uh, welcome, <gasps> welcome. My gifted apprentice, oh. Wilk, will be serving you today. <gasps> uh, Master Bread, huh? I'm not sure I can do this. Don't worry, muffins are as easy as pie. You just follow my lead. I absolutely know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, Wilk! Uh, what kind of barber starts with three inches of cream? You must begin with a spray of 2.5 inches precisely. Yes. Wilk! Uh, a strawberry must be placed at a 45 degree angle. Yes, Master Bread. Uh, Blueberries are always one eighth of an inch apart. Uh, uh, You're making a mockery of those chocolate uh, sprinkles. Powdered sugar should fall like snowflakes from the sky! Oh, you're giving me wheat burn. I could do a better job with my feet! Ah! He said he would the kindly guide me! me. Ah. Now that's what mm. I call a steak! Ooh. Bon appetit. Huh? Machaco, where are you going? Aren't you going to feed me? What? You know that I can't use my arms, Choco. I need help! Choco? Yeah? Don't you know that meat has to be cut against the grain? What does it matter? It's gonna get up inside you either way. What does it matter? The cut defines it! I could cut the steak better with my feet! <laughs> Why are you only feeding me steak? I need my vegetables too, you know. <laughs> you know I have a carrot aversion! Choco, take it easy! Um, yum. I can get used to this. Huh? Wait, where'd everybody go? Wilk? Choco? Stop playing games and come out! They left me alone. How could they desert me when I can't even lift my arms? <sighs> Master Bread made me feel like I was drowning in my own carton. Most of the time he means well, but he crossed the line. But will he be okay? He can't even use his arms. You know Master Bread. He could survive a toaster oven on broil. Now come on, it's time for some dairy <sighs> uh, oh, I really do want these grapes for dessert. I guess I have no choice but to try eating them myself. Uh, hey, this is quite humiliating. Uh, 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 I refuse to be defeated by a grape. Uh, 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 Quick, I've got a blind date with a date. I need a new look. I wish I could help you, sir, but huh? I can't use my arms. What? Uh, Why do you have a barber shop then? I'm gonna uh, macho myself out of here. Uh, uh, First I'm deprived, and then I get yelled at. Where is everybody? I could do a better job with my feet! I could cut the steak better with my feet! Perhaps it was too harsh to say I could do a better job with my feet. 
Hold on, my feet? Yes, I can use my feet instead. Red uses every resource at his disposal. Thus, I will use my feet. But of course! Mm -hmm. Have a seat right over here. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, what's going on oh. here? Oh, not to worry. This is my special technique. You've got to be kidding me! I think that just about does it. Wow, I can't believe you were able to do this with your feet! <laughs> Any barber worth their yeast should be able to do what I did. <laughs> be huh? oh, look! He's really doing it! That's the best-looking hairdo I've ever seen. Mom, I want a feet hairdo, and I want it now! <laughs> Master huh? Bread! Master <laughs> Bread! Master <laughs> Bread! Master <laughs> Bread! Ugh, there's nothing like an Olivia Fig Newton John song. Yeah. But I still can't stop thinking about Master Bread. I'm sure he's doing just fine. Hey, oh? have you seen this? Oh, yeah. He's going viral. Everybody's seen it. Imagine, he actually does hair with his feet. Say Ow. what? Choco, uh, that's Master Bread. Wilk, we've uh, got to get back to the barber shop. Wait for me. <laughs> 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 I'm live at the scene where the bread barber is doing a haircut with his feet. <laughs> Ooh, let's watch as he performs the extraordinary. And he's done it! He's made that muffin's dream come true with his feet! Yeah. Oh, I never knew he could do that! I told you we didn't need to worry about him. Now I'm worried about us. Uh, hmm. Hmm? Why are you two just standing there? Will, go restock the chocolate curls. Choco, that phone won't answer itself. Yes, sir! Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Fred, may I ask, what are you doing? Can't you see? This is my famous feet cut. Like I said, I can do a better job with my feet. Boy, are my feet tired. <sighs> Will, come hold on to this. Oh, uh, but why am I holding it? <laughs> 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 Oh. Ah, ah. Mr. Bread, does this mean your arms have healed? Yeah, they healed a long time ago. But I became an icon styling with my feet, so I could hardly use my hands. Hey, a superstar never, ever disappoints his fans. Uh, uh, Are you still uh, open for business? Uh, welcome, welcome! Uh, 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 do you see what I see? I can't unsee it. Relax and put your feet up. And I'll put my feet up to do your hair. Bread's alopecia. And done. So, do you like it? I don't know. What? It's lame. You did the same thing the last time I was uh, here. Whipped cream, blueberries, sugar sprinkled on the strawberry. It's old news. <laughs> Just look through. Read what they're saying about this place. It's boring. Uh, I might find uh, a place with uh, trendy styles. Uh, 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 uh,
Up next, uh, is local uh, bread barbershop uh, just yesterday's loaf? Uh, Citizens of Bakery Town have been saying they're serving up stale styles. This is important uh, stuff. Let's hear from you. Uh, bread barber? Uh, no one goes to that old fogey uh, anymore. Uh, uh, that young muffin's got some nerve. Uh, 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 hello. Where am I? I didn't uh, mean to come in here. Uh, 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 wrong address. I almost ruined uh, my hair. Oh, why is this happening? Are my hairstyles really old news? Uh, sir, have some tea. You should try to relax. You're not looking too good. You did the same thing the last time I was here. No one goes to that old fogey anymore. I almost ruined my hair. I can't! I know I'm still cool! <laughs> <laughs> ah, now what's the matter? It's his crust. Uh, ah, no way! What? What's uh, wrong? There's something very wrong with you! What? What are you uh, talking about? There's no way. A bald barber's just... How can a barber lose his hair? Hair loss due to stress is not unheard of. Poor guy. Must be the news that did it. Hang on! I'm not stressed. Mm. Ah, huh? right! Don't worry, ah. I know just the thing to fix you! Uh, how is this <laughs> going to help? I'm planting uh. seeds on you. A bit of fertilizer on top. Uh. Yeah! Uh. Mm, smells great. Mm -hmm. What kind of plant is that? Basil! Basil grows fast, so before you know it, you'll have a head full of luscious leaves! <laughs> <sighs> not happening! Oh, uh, I'm a bread, not an herb garden! Worth a shot. Ah, you know, sir, I've heard that a gentle massage can inspire hair to regrow. Uh, <laughs> grow, grow, grow! <laughs> uh, let's see if it works on you! <laughs> uh, got it. Got what now? Flour and eggs might just be the trick to making your bald spot grow. Hang on, I'm not really bald. Uh, fine, maybe I am balding a bit. Uh, ooh, chilly. Uh, <laughs> In the morning, all my problems will be fixed. Uh, brand new day. Then that little bald spot is all gone! Ah! Uh, uh, that didn't fix it, it's just weird! Uh, now I'm some kind of monster! <laughs> uh, hello? Sir, you're late for work. Your customers are waiting uh, for you. I've been waiting an hour. Yeah, where is this barber? Uh, customers? All right, I'll, I'll be there. Ah, just look at me in this state. Aha! Oh, I'm really late. Ah! Single file, don't run! Ah, I can't risk my hat coming off. It's too high a price. Ah! 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 Kids, Thank goodness my hat didn't come off. I'm so close now. I wonder what Mr. Bread's holdup is. Ah, Mr. Bread, sir, say something. Uh, 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 what happened? Oh goodness, what is that? Oh. What's wrong with his hair? Isn't oh. that the barber? Mm. That crust is just excessive. <laughs> Make the scary bread go away. It's okay. Let's be nice. <laughs> Some beds are just monstrous looking. That's all. <laughs> Sir, wait. It looked like he was going bald. If I get my hair done there, will I go bald too? The horror. 
Ah, that's it. I'm done for. Done. Uh, <laughs> sir, crying makes you look worse. Uh, everything is your uh, fault. You opened the door and my hat uh, flew off my head. Uh, uh, Just chill out. It's not so bad, and I'm sure you can make it something that looks cool. It's not so bad. My crust is all floppy doodles. What am I supposed to do? Make it into some dumb bow? Wow. Ridiculous. I'm done for. Incredible. I knew he was a genius. Sir, I think this style is just what you were looking for. It's new, edgy, and modern, too. This awful thing looks good. Yes. Everyone's going to think it looks cool. Hmm? You think? Wow, that hair! It's cool, right? Just extraordinary! I admire a man who rocks pigtails. How amazing is his style? <laughs> Oh, that's the new style, huh? I have to get my hair done here. Me first! Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> wow! You're looking better every day, sir. <laughs> Changing the game again, sir. <laughs> oh. wow. Whatever wow. he's got, I want the same thing. What a classy guy. <laughs> Mr. Wow. Fred, please tell me what you call this Let new style. Let us in on your secrets. We want to look cool, too. Word on the street uh. says... Yup, the hottest place in town is Bread Barbershop. Ah, hello! Oh. Your new style's really taking off oh, with the kids and becoming popular. Your turn. Um, you know, like maybe uh, I waited like outside for hours. That would be uh, so uh, Shave my name in my head! Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Bread! Oh. Mr. Bread! Bread the Fashion King. Why is no one working? Master Bread, come check this out. Mm -hmm. This is an app that has reviews for barber shops. And our shop is on it too. What? You mean someone reviewed me? Best barber shop ever? Talented genius? I'm bread carpet ready? Uh, I won't let the praise go to my crest. Uh, oh. Scroll down a little more. No sense of fashion? Ever look in a mirror? Master Bread styling is stale? How dare they? What's wrong with the way I dress? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Don't we just have to be good at doing hair? Not oh. enough. Customers these days also care about how we represent ourselves. If we want to be breadstagrammable, it's important that we look good doing our jobs. So we need to wear uniforms? Then let's make the best one there is! <sighs> The wrong uniform could skew uh, lame real fast. Trust me, uh, I know. We'll see who's lame. We'll get the top fashion designer to dress us. <laughs> Besting a whopping 8,000 contestants, the top fashion designer of Bakery Town is Andre oh, Bunn. Oh, thank you so much. What show is this? Project Bunway, of course. It's a reality show that picks the best fashion designer in town. I knew Andre Bunn was going to win. You think he's really that good? Choco, get this guy on the phone right now. He'll be our designer. The nerve! Why do I have to go and meet him when I'm the customer here? Andre Bunn's real popular right now, so we have to fit in his schedule. How busy can the guy be? I'm the best barber in bakery town, and even I... Uh, wow, even the shop looks spiffy. <laughs> the top fashion designer's gotta have a chic shop. Andre, Andre, I'm so charmed to meet you, Andre Bun. A pleasure. We're from the Bread Barber Shop, and my name is Choco. Bread Barber Shop, you say? No. Your uniforms are badly outmoded. <laughs> You call this bread? So crusty and in desperate need of a shave. I'm not! Don't worry. In my designs, you'll be a fashionista quicker than you can say applique. Ta-da! Now come with me. I'll handpick the perfect fit for Master Bread. Master Bread, come show us how you look. Can't wait to see you as a fashionista. Hmm. <laughs> 
And here we have the classic barber look. What? Classic? Yes, and if I decide to put you in a classic, you'll wear it and you'll like Ooh. it! Don't you just feel as though you were transported to a barber shop in 1900s London? So dapper. It's made out of silk, and there's love in every stitch. Well then, so cute and neat, right? It's classic mm -hmm. and it's cool. No wonder you won on Project <laughs> Bunway. Hmm, I don't like it. You expect a genius to wear something this boring? What about something that's more avant-garde and unique? What? You dare to question me? Oh, I understand. We all have different tastes after all. Mm. I think I have just the very thing. Mm. Come on. Mm. Oh. This ensemble was inspired by King Henri III of France, its haute couture. With avant-garde lines and a billowing petal shape, you'll be more ravishing than a flawless ah. summer rose. Wow, that's more like it. Mirrors my own elegance, I think. Oh, mm. I've seen this before. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Paris Fashion Week? At the Royal Museum? No, at my nephew's talent show. Oh. What? Ah. Just take a look. It's the same. I love milk. Smooth as silk. Milk makes me say yum. Uh, what is this? You expect me to wear something for children? Some top designer. Oh, I do not want to look like a child. I'm a genius barber, and that is how I want to look. Of course I can do that. Wait right here. <gasps> what is that? He's a walking pair of scissors. <sighs> the symbol of a barber. Inspired by scissors, it's called Look Sharp. Since a barber just can't thrive without them, I attached a pair of scissors front and center. <sighs> Oh, you know, I think I like it. It's just perfect for you, sir. Yeah, but how are you going to bend your knees or see anything behind those scissors? You won't be able to work anymore. Oh, well, you're right. What were you thinking giving me this to wear? You have no common sense. What? Well, you have no fashion sense. I'm uncomfortable and I can't see. Bring me something I can wear. You wait here. I have just the thing. Oh. It's so simple! Comfy, right? It's called the skinny skeleton. If I wanted something skin tight, give me something glamorous. <laughs> I call this creation Beastmaster, the lion within. Well then, what do you think? I don't want to wear fur. Do you have anything less hairy? Uh, huh. Not hairy at all, but so smooth. Captain Octopus. What's with all these hideous tentacles? I'll scare off my customers. Bring me something more peaceful. Right. The symbol of peace. The tranquil pigeon. Uh, tranquil pigeon. I just want something that I like. I have had it. You question my collection, the loves of my life. You're the pickiest piece of bread I've ever met. Master Bread, mm. I think Andre Bun might need a break right about now. Why not tell him exactly what you want in detail? What I want isn't that difficult. Just something avant-garde, stylish, and also simple. I want something trendy, but for Pete's sake, not too much. And also something relatively restrained. You understand? If that's the design you want, then I will make it happen. I will show you. Hmm. Master Bread, will he be okay? Andre Bun seemed like he was beside himself. Ah, oh, don't worry, kid. These designers are so sensitive. If he's the best designer, then he should be able to make any design I want, right? Also, I've decided I'm going to start working out. Working out? What brought this on? I want to bulk up my muscles. If I'm going to get a new uniform, I want to really fill it out. <sighs> wow, amazing! So, let the bread building commence. How dare that arrogant loaf humiliate my designs? I'll show him what real humiliation feels like. <laughs> One week later. <clears throat> oh, Brad. I've been expecting you. And I'm expecting my outfit is done. Sure. It's the best design I've ever done. Ta-da! Uh, what? But there's nothing there! Surely you jest. Can you not see how special this is? What's special? 
I don't see anything there. This is called the genius style. You can only see it if your IQ is higher than 100. What? 100? Oh, no wonder. Of course I can see it. Oh, I guess that's why I couldn't see anything. Just look at that. Uh, the colors, design, it's so sophisticated. Now what are you talking about? There is uh, nothing there. What do you mean? You can't see this beautiful ensemble? Oh, I can't Somebody see doesn't anything. have an IQ higher than a hundred. <sighs> Say that again. <laughs> you have an excellent sense of fashion. I just knew uh, you'd love it. Try it on. I think I shall. <laughs> you haughty slice. You insulted my work and now you shall pay for it. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Oh my, why Master Bread? You're so very muscular. That's Whoa. not my boss. Master Bread, all that working out you did sure uh, did pay off. I think this outfit suits me well. It's so light, it's like I'm wearing nothing at all. Who knew Master Bread could be such a powerhouse? You mean not everyone rocks a six pack like this? Well, shall we head back to the shop? Wilk, Choco, come on, time to get to work. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Wasn't that Master Bread? <laughs> Why isn't he dressed? I always thought he was talented, but that bread has skills. I never thought I'd say it, but that's a hunk of handsome loaf. Oh, he must be made with extra gluten because that Master Bread is holding it together. His <laughs> new <laughs> 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 You always make us look good, but you look pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. He's got abs of steel. Did you check out those eyes? How did he get more customers with no clothes on him? I guess they think it's a cool look or something. Hey, Wilk, Choco, since my new outfit is such a hit, we should use Andre Bun next year, too. Okay. <sighs> They're like muscular croutons into a Great expectations. Uh, uh, slow down, will ya? Oh. Hey, Master Bread. Twisted Bread, is this sports car really yours? Yeah, I bought it. You were whining about not having customers at the laundromat. So how did you afford a sports car? Hmm. Ah, well... Last year, I turned my laundry into a five-story building. Then, believe it or not, the building's value skyrocketed five times. Five times? So if I turn the shop into a ten-story building, then its value will increase by ten. That's not necessarily how it works. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Twisted. <laughs> Hello and good day. Welcome to Bakery Realty. Uh, building prices are rising. Is that true? You're from Bread Barbershop, are you? Welcome, sir. Indeed, real estate prices in Bakery Town are going through the roof. The laundromat rose five times, and the taco shack rose seven. They've all increased profits by expanding their buildings. If you expand your barbershop, there's just no telling how much money you could make. Then expand is what I'll do. But how many floors? I've heard it said the higher something is, the better. So, let's go for ten! Okay, then we'll go for ten! What? what? You're gonna knock it down, sir? Wow. The prices of real estate in Bakery Town are growing by the day. If I knock this place down and build a bigger building, I'll be rolling in dough! We'll have a cafe, a diner, a hospital, a bookstore, a clothing boutique, an internet cafe, a karaoke club, a cineplex, and a barber shop right there at the top. Mr. Bread, how could you knock down our little store? I love it so much. Quit being <gasps> sentimental. This is our chance to rake in the dinero. There won't be any profits during the construction, Master Bread. You okay with that? Yes, I am willing to take the loss. Plus, it will more than make up for it in the end. Just wait. I'll give uh, you the cafe and Wilk the internet cafe. <laughs> the sofa goes there. And the table goes right over there. Master Bread. You, you scared me. What's wrong? The guys found something in the shop back there. You might want to come take a look. Uh, it's probably nothing of importance. Uh, what is that? When we broke through the wall, mm. we found this old mural, boss. It doesn't look like just any mural. What should we do? Should we stop the construction? Uh, don't stop construction! Just demolish it! Wait, 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 wait. Is this the barbershop where they found the mural? 
It was on the news today. It was on the news already? Let me introduce myself. Prestigious Breadbridge University Rhodes Scholar, legendary art historian and archaeologist, Indiana Breads, Esquire. Uh, <laughs> wait, this tastes familiar. Ho, ho, ho! This mural right here is 600 years old. It's a work by the renowned artist Leonardo Bredvinci, the Bredna Lisa! An original Bred Vinci? Ain't he the oh. one that painted the last sandwich? The Bred Nalisa is famously said to have been painted by Leonardo at an unknown location. I searched for it everywhere, only to find it in a shabby salon. All right, get scarce, will ya? I need to knock down this shabby salon for construction. What do you mean, knock it down? Are you crazy or something? This cultural artifact needs to be registered by UNESCO! If you ruin this great mural, you will be the target of worldwide criticism! Hmm. Master Brad! <laughs> the housing prices are skyrocketing! Through the roof! Ooh. If you make this a ten-story building, you'll be worth ten million! Uh, are you sure? Uh, you capitalist Bulgarian! This priceless painting must not be destroyed! Join the real world, why don't you? We're talking money here! Millions! You think you're better just cause you're smart! You think so? Well this smart guy'll knock your block off, buddy! Knock it off! Where do you think you are, a boxing ring? I bet we could go up to 15 million. What? 15 mil? <laughs> Demolish that wall! And you, scram! Uh, you'll regret bye it. Bye-bye, Mr. Hoity-toit. Oh, this construction is taking too long. It's Ooh. true. We need to work faster. Down with bread! Huh? Down with bread! Art over profit! Art over profit! Bread, you're destroying our culture! Stop it now! No way, not that archaeologist huh? guy again. Sure is, and now he's got protesters too. Quit making a spectacle of yourselves, will ya? Ah! <laughs> With those tomatoes on him, he looks just like a pizza. <laughs> really green pizza, though, huh? Culture before green! Shame! 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 <sighs> All those people think they're so high and mighty. I'm exhausted. If you destroy this mural, you will be vilified forever. If you make this a ten-story building, you'll be worth ten million! Destroy uh, your culture! Shame on you! Shame on you! I can't sleep because of that stupid mural! I'm gonna destroy that nuisance myself! Uh, that bread and lease has nothing but trouble! Huh? What's going on? They're in tents out here? Camping out in front of my barber shop! <laughs> really? How am I gonna get inside? Breaking and entering like a common thief? Uh, I should be home sleeping in my bed. Look at this moldy mural. I'm gonna get rid of you here and now, Missy. When I wipe you out, I'm gonna be a wealthy man. That was easier than I thought. Uh, oh, now who could be calling me this late at night? Talk to me! Master Bread, that archaeologist dude is on TV right now! Wilk, I'm very busy right now. If it's not important... This is important, sir. That mural you found today is worth 20 million! Did, did you say... Yeah! You really uh, are going to be a millionaire, uh, Master Bread! Uh, 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 Ten million dollars for a building? Twenty million for a painting? Why? My foolish hands have betrayed me. But wait, I might have ruined that mural, but I can paint it again. If I do it carefully, no one will suspect anything. I am a genius! <laughs> Stop suppressing. <sighs> Boy, protesting must be really hard work. Everyone's so sleepy mm, out there. True that. <gasps> Master Mr. Bread! <laughs> Wake up, Mr. Bread! Can you hear me? Huh? What is that? What's what? Ah! We've been vandalized! You can say that again! Who could have done such a thing? Destroying a Leonardo Bread Finchie! What a monster! I'm the monster! <gasps> I ruined the Leonardo! 
I destroyed it so I could demolish the building. Then I tried to fix it, but I failed. <laughs> what if Wait, I you? Maybe try not to think about all the millions you've lost. That's <laughs> not helping, Wilk. <laughs> Did I hear you correctly? Did you really ruin that mural, Brad? Uh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> oh, the mural, it's been ruined. You destroyed the bread and Elisa, didn't you? Why don't you just admit it? How could you possibly have done such a terrible thing? You leave me no choice but to put this on social media. Get ready to get canceled, mister. You're gonna go broke. That bread's a crumb. My whole life is ruined. I'll never be able to show my face again. <laughs> what? Master Bread, the news must have spread. There's a giant crowd. What? Wilk, Choco, we gotta hide! Oh, you came to see the ruined mural! Please, please forgive me! I didn't mean to do it, honest! No way! There it is, you guys! Yeah, it's the Rechna Lisa! Wow, what a riot! I can't believe I'm actually seeing this! Would you mind taking a photo? Me too! What is happening here? Master Brad, look at this! This Rechna Lisa thing is trending everywhere now. People are making memes about it all over social media. Look! The statue of Recordy, Wrecked Sphinx, Ross Wreck, Mount Wreckmore, Wrecked Flowers, even the Wrecked Supper. So all these people mm. saw these online and came here? Yep, that's right. Ooh. I can't believe so many people showed up to see mm. a dumb mural. Wilk, Choco, get to work right away! Gotta collect those admission fees! We're charging to get into the barbershop mm -hmm. now? We're no ordinary barbershop. We're the Rechna Lisa Barbershop! Welcome all. Come see the Rechna Lisa. $10 to see it, $50 for a Rechna Lisa hairstyle. Ta da! Master Bread, you're so good with hair and ruining murals. No, no. You're far too flattering. Wow. He really turned things around. Good for Master Bread. I guess. Well, huh? send in our next customer, if you please. Yep. Come in and see the mural. Welcome. We're the Retina Lisa Barbershop. Dishelin Stars. What's wrong? I got a zero star review from Dishlin, and now I have to shut down! What's Dishlin? <laughs> Only the fanciest review magazine ever! If Dishlin gives you a bad review, your business is over! Just like me! <laughs> oh no, please don't cry, please! I heard he's going to go after Brett Barbershop! So be prepared! If he gets a bad review, he'll have to close down! <laughs> Why are you yelling before 10 a.m.? I heard Dishelin is going to come to my shop! Uh, 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 it's time! He's finally come! But I still don't understand who this Dishelin is. Just the finest hairstyling magazine of all time. Three stars is the highest honor a hair salon can be awarded. However, most get zero and end up losing all their customers. Choco, I need you to find out exactly when this muffin is coming to our shop! It says he usually drops by unannounced, but he tends to come in Wednesdays at noon. Isn't today a Wednesday? <gasps> Wednesday the 13th! That's almost as bad as a Friday! So this is the bread barber? Let's just hope he lives up to all the good things I've heard. Now's as good a time as any. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Master Fred, are you okay? You seem to be twitchy. Well, I'm fine. Only a fool would be nervous today. <laughs> uh, hey, excuse me. Could this be Dishelin? <laughs> of course he'd come in disguise. Very clever. Only something the top critic would pull off. Fine. Let the games begin. Please sit down. 
Wilk, do serve our customer a cold drink, won't you? Yep. Coming right up. Hmm. I'm here for a haircut. Is Master Brad in? Shh. He's working on someone important. Have a seat and he'll be with you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, let's see what we're working with today. <laughs> Ugh, this is appalling. What on earth am I supposed to do with this horrifying mess? Truly a test to prove my worth. Master Bread, <clears throat> you sure you got this? Please. I was born to get three stars. Wow, he can even read my expressions. <laughs> 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 Master Brad, aren't you wasting a lot of time doing that all bit by bit? Art cannot be defined by speed, and if I go quickly, it might be uncomfortable. Oh, such care he gives. <laughs> and done. Uh, Whoa, awesome! He looks so clean and shiny now! <laughs> It's time for the next phase. My word, it's 5 p.m. already? Oh. Hey, are you gonna finish anytime soon? It's almost time for your shop to close. No, oh, this takes time. I haven't even really started yet. Oh, come on! What is the point of all this? He's just another old hobo. What's the point? What did you call him? Oh. With these scissors, Everyone is equal. It doesn't matter who you are! I'm impressed by his noble intentions. He inspires us all to be more kind. Amazing! He's an entirely new person now! <sighs> yes! You transformed another one! Ah, uh, it's just another Wednesday. I am always this great. I can't believe it. Is this even the same man who came in before? He put in so much effort and asked for nothing in return. Well, now that that's done, I'll give my next amazing makeover. Just have a seat. Uh, <laughs> no, I've seen everything I need, Brad. You reminded me there's goodness in everyone. You've taught me much today. Thank you all so much. So very much. Uh, uh, sir, you dropped something. Huh? Uh, uh, Master Brad, we messed up. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Uh, what the buns? Hang on, then who is this? <laughs> Tonight I experienced something truly extraordinary at the Brad Barber Shop. Tell me, who in the croissant are you? Me. I live under the bridge. He puts a great amount of effort into every head of hair. No matter if the customer is rich or poor. So why did you come in here? To use your bathroom. Then why didn't you say that? Because you told me to sit down here. I still needed to go, so I used your floor. Though the decor may be modest, the craftsmanship found here is unparalleled anywhere else. You made me lose an important customer! You better be able to pay! Why should I pay? I didn't even ask for this! Master Brad, please calm down! Surely Master Brad is the finest barber in all of Bakery Town. Never before have I been so certain of bestowing these stars. <laughs> 